justify is the Belmont Stakes win shy away from making it back to back in that regard for Bob Baffert, uh, who's here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Bob? Uh, thanks for having me. And um, you want to see a real great reality show? Just better tune in to the Belmont in three weeks. I like it. I like it. So uh, walk me through what that reality show is going to look like, Bob. You want to preview for preview for well, me? Well, we we we're. Uh, we're 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 almost there. We're two thirds of the way, which is probably the toughest part. And uh, uh, the horse, you know, his his Kentucky Derby was just awesome. Came back, had to work for it. You know, he had a he sort of had to will himself in there. He got a lot of pressure early from the champion uh, horse, and it was it was a good it was a good like little match race going on. But uh, he held them all off in the in the mud again. So um, came out of the race looks fantastic so um you know so far I, I i like i like what i see but it's still going to be a tough race he's going to have to give us another big run but uh he's just an incredible horse an incredible animal just like american pharaoh just so talented so um you know i think it's um you know we're feeling you know just we're feeling good about it but it's still you know we you know we still have three weeks to go and a lot can happen but i i, I think it's a it's a race that you know everybody should tune in because I, I can't believe I'm, you know, we just went through it just a 2015, and after 37 years, and here I get a chance. This is my fifth time I get to go through this, so I'm pretty, pretty blessed to even have horses like this. But to go through it again is pretty, pretty exciting. And what's your confidence level in Justify going into the Belmont compared to how you felt about American Pharaoh going into the Belmont a couple years ago, Bob? Well, American Pharaoh, you know, he was, I felt really good about him, you know, but you don't, until the last week coming up to it, then you, you know, but uh, coming out of the Preakness last year, I felt really, really good about it. I feel good about it with this horse because he's that kind of horse. So you still have to have racing luck though. You know, things can happen, you know, they can break poorly or something. I remember War Emblem, he stumbled badly at the start. You still, so I don't like, I don't get ahead of myself, but I mean, this horse, I mean, he, he's definitely the best horse of this group, but he still needs to, uh, you know, can't throw any interceptions. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.